Hi, Jojo Williams here. I want to ask you a very important question. Are you tired of playing follow the leader and ready to become a leader in the industry of network marketing and direct sales? And if you say yes to that question, this video is for you, so listen on. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of things that happen in network marketing. And currently, as is always, you will see leaders, you know, highly successful individuals who've worked very hard in this industry and built a solid reputation as a leader moving from one company to another and recommending that all of you follow them, <laughs> you know. And here's the thing. Generally, when those moves are made, there is a contract in place behind the scenes, and that person usually chooses their new home, their company that they recommend you to join based on that contract. Now, I'm not downing anybody. I understand. In fact, I was offered a really nice contract myself a few months ago with a nice sign-up bonus, monthly income, and to leave my team um, in Asante Organics and join another company and talk my team into following me. At the end of the day, all flattery aside and the realization that I've reached that level in this industry where I I'm getting offers, I, I really had to stop and think, you know, who's going to benefit from this? It would have been myself because I would have been the only one getting a sign-up bonus, right? All of you who would have followed me because you trusted me to lead you wouldn't have gotten a sign-up bonus, you would have had to pay to sign up. And so I wasn't willing to walk away from this path of passion being aligned with something that I truly believe in just because I was offered some money. Now, you know, in all fairness, I understand that leaders in this industry have become accustomed to a certain type of lifestyle that they have to support and they want the, you know, big $15,000, $5,000, $10,000 a month check guarantee to, to continue to support that lifestyle that they've become accustomed to. So that's generally how they base their decision on which company they choose. And then you will, you have to ask yourself, is that what I want in following a leader? I mean, can I honestly trust that this person is recommending the best opportunity for me or is it the best opportunity for them? Have they looked at all aspects of the company? Is the timing right? Is the positioning right? What is the integrity on the back of that label and the ingredients? Is this a fad or is this a trend? You know, you really have to ask yourself, who am I following? Am I following somebody who is going to choose the right investment for me? Or am I following somebody who chose the right investment for them and I get to be a part of that investment for them? And, you know, it's nothing personal against the leaders out there. Like, I get it. I understand. However, I also understand that it takes a very special type of person to say, you know what? I have worked really hard in this industry. I've proven myself. And I am that good. I'm good enough to start all over again and to join a company based on the ingredients on the product, based on the comp plan, based on timing and placement and overall based on what is best for those who trust me to follow me and not worry about getting a contract, a paid agreement to say this is the best company. That's when you know the leader is genuinely picking a company based on what is the best for their team because they're not getting that sign up bonus to go to that company. And, you know, I follow many leaders in this industry who've made choices based on, on, you know, those, those sign up bonuses. And I still follow them. They're amazing mentors. There's so much to learn from them and how to be a solid recruiter. And so like kudos, you know, one up to them. But as far as selecting a company for me to join and for the people that trust me, I wouldn't base it on what the top leaders in the industry are selecting. That would just not make sense for me because those selections are generally made from a self-serving point of view of how much money am I going to get to join your company. One of the reasons I selected Asante Organics is because Asante Organics does not buy leaders. We create leaders. And that's exciting to me to be a part of a company, ground floor opportunity, so close to momentum with the the most integrity filled ingredients that are right on the back of the label, a comp plan that pays out 100% matching check bonuses with three easy levels to reach that was designed by a distributor for distributors. And to see all these people becoming leaders within this company 
who've never been a leader in another company. To be a part of helping develop the leaders in my team and, and seeing them realize their own power to follow themselves, to follow your own vision, to align with something that resonates with you, that you believe in, and to be a part of it, not because somebody who's getting a big monthly check said that's the best way to go. So if you're looking for a home, because one of your upline has just found another one, or because you've seen some big leader in the industry choose one, you really should ask yourself the question, what did they base that choice on? And is that choice really the best choice for me? Because if you are tired of playing follow the leader and would like to become a leader in your own right, you should get a hold of me today or the person who showed you this video because in Asante Organics, that's what we do. We create leaders and the leadership opportunity in this company is awesome. It's there. It's available. The time is now. So be a visionary. Step out on your own. Forge your own path. Select a company based on your own homework, not on what anybody, not even myself, tells you to do. You are smart enough to make your own choice and decide what's best for your future. And you don't need anybody in this industry to tell you what that is. You have a most blessed day and I look forward to hearing from you very soon.